and faculties. So uh, we are considering about higher education institution, not only arts and science, engineering, polytechnic. Uh, we are covering whatever the higher education institution. Um, so from the year 2016 onwards, uh, we are doing this based on hub and spoke model. At present, we are having 12 hubs. Chennai is having Center for Entrepreneurship Development in NIC Chennai, and uh, that is College of Engineering Indy and the MIT campus. Uh, basically, the hubs will cover four districts. Uh, I am representing Anna University Tiruchirappalli, that is University College of Engineering, BIT campus, Anna University Tiruchirappalli, covering four district colleges, uh, Paramlur, Karur, Dindikal, and uh, uh, the one of the, ba one of the advantages of uh, doing programs in webinar is uh, uh, we used to have a, a global connect. Global connect means uh, within Tamil Nadu, which, whichever the districts may be, the audience are coming uh, in for us. So I'm very thankful. Uh, Banar Yaman Institute of Technology, uh, so many participants have registered here. And uh, Svet uh, from Chennai. So many people have registered for this program. Uh, hopefully, uh, I witness, um, I'm seeing them for this today's webinar. Um, Parallelly, the session was uh, hosted live uh, by Center for Entrepreneurship Development on University Chennai YouTube page. Um, the resource person, uh, other sir, uh, are you there? Um, one minute. Uh, The resource person is trying to connect, sir. Uh, so he is having some issues. Uh, I'm I, I'm rectifying that. Uh, so please be with us for another one minute. I'm trying to connect, sir. Please call. Okay. Okay, fine, sir. We will uh, we will handle it. So no issue. Uh, 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 Nirmal sir, uh, before that, you can explain about uh, what are the our upcoming programs uh, for uh, in one okay, minute. Sir. I will uh, I will let let the uh, resource first. Fine sir, fine sir. I will handle it from here. Hello, participants. Can uh, everyone hear me? Am I loud and audible? Hello. Yeah, it's clear. It is audible. Yeah, fine. Because uh, I always, uh, when I'm speaking, I want the audience response calls as well. I yeah, like I to keep it as an interactive session only. I'm uh, Nirmal Raj, field coordinator from uh, Center for Entrepreneurship Development, Anna University. Uh, working for uh, the region of Chennai, Thirulur, and Kanjiburam uh, districts. We cover uh, every college, uh, engineering, arts and science, polytechnic, management, and even the School of Social Works also we cover. Uh, what we are trying to do is create awareness and create an ecosystem for entrepreneurship. So entrepreneurs, uh, they can come to us, they can come with an idea. So we will uh, help them in uh, all sorts of ways from networking, to uh, framing their idea, to framing their business model. And uh, at, we also help them with funding schemes as well. Funding schemes such as uh, EDA as a flagship funding scheme called as Innovation Voucher Program, where you can get up to 2 lakhs as grant. Grant in the sense, you don't have to repay the amount. 
uh, all you need is to do the uh, to use utilize the money that has been given to you and uh, do a useful product and uh, launch it in the market and create employment opportunity the main aim is for of the government is to create employment opportunity so that they are giving grant to the entrepreneurs and uh, they can do the job of the government such, such as creating on, uh, employment opportunity in the society under voucher a you can get up to 2 lakh as grant and uh, under voucher b you can uh, get up to 5 lakh grant voucher a is for doing uh, you're converting your idea into prototype if you are having an idea uh, you are uh, based on your uh, journals uh, thesis Uh, if you are uh, get coming up with an idea this idea will be uh, useful for the market if it, if i'm uh, converting this into a prototype you know, when the uh, when you have a uh, confidence that this idea will be fit for the market and marketing and people will be in a position to buy your product so you can make a product sorry your idea into a prototype for that you can use the voucher a that is uh, you can uh, avail the voucher a of 2 lakhs and if you are already having a product and you have to get into the uh, scale your business if you are already launched your product in the market and all on the to scale your business you can go for voucher b where you can get up to 5 lakhs as grant uh, these are the uh, important funding scheme other than that we have uh, different funding schemes uh, under msme such as pm egp prime minister employment generation program scheme need scheme new entrepreneurship sir madam other sir yeah. okay mm-hmm. you know sir Uh, uh, ज Uh, I hope uh, our uh, speaker, uh, Mr. Adesh Mittal, has joined uh, us. Hello, sir. Welcome. Can uh... Adesh, sir, uh, are you able to hear, sir? Uh, is audio still in connecting stage? Okay. Okay, participants. Uh, from here, I, I hope uh, our speaker will uh, carry forward. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sparing your time. thank you nirmal sir um, dear audience uh, uh, thank you for being patient uh, we can start the session now uh, the resource person has joined with us um, i will uh, i will invite uh, mr radhars mittal uh, an educator mentor and entrepreneurship trainer and researcher a multitude personality skill he is having uh, we are uh, fortunate to have him uh, for this uh, art of selling Uh, webinar uh, scheduled for today's uh, organized by EDII AIDP Tiruchirappalli Hub University College of Engineering Bit Campus Tiruchi so about uh, others metal sir uh, he is a certified master trainer of entrepreneurship development and innovation institute of government of tamil nadu and also he is a certified uh, master trainer of vadwani foundation uh, which is it is a much acclaimed uh, international pioneer in entrepreneurship education so he is not only a master trainer he is also very passionate in teaching um, he is involving in uh, school education as well as higher education teaching students of management studies and he is uh, apart from he is passionate in teaching he is choosing his profession in entrepreneurship he has been providing various services advertising promotion marketing and organizational building techniques on international platform so he is also having a mentoring skills um, i personally see some of the students uh, from tiruchirappalli region ms srinidhi umanandan uh, he she has got a loan of uh, 1.2 lakhs from pm egp uh, she has attended one, she has uh, acted as a resource person for one hour for webinar she has given a credit to mr adarsh metal sir so this is a, such an one example so much example are there so he has mentoring various students uh, business people in creating startups and entrepreneurial venture um, resource person he has acted as a resource person for numerous programs across the state for both students as well as faculty uh, we used to interconnect with others metal sir uh, in one of our faculty development program and e leader workshop which was an instant hit uh, both students as well as faculty Uh, you may see him uh, in most of the colleges as a uh, resource person uh, in institute innovation council so in when when comes innovation and entrepreneurship 
uh, you may witness other smital sir in most of the colleges so he is also acting as a resource person also and moreover uh, he is involving as a researcher um, active researcher so he has published sizable number of journal papers in ugc index journals and also he has received funding grants from edii ahmedabad and dst nimart so he is having a, a huge profile uh, in such a young uh, young age and uh, young and dynamic not only dynamic uh, he is a so- social entrepreneur and friendly in nature uh, he is very friendly in nature um, so i hope that audience will may utilize him um, i have personally see him uh, when I, in one of our program uh, he used to interconnect with students so the session uh, automatically will turn into be a discussion nature so i hope that the session will also be like that and the audience will uh, uh, enjoying that uh, his session so with that i am welcoming mr adars metal sir to deliver the session uh yeah good morning sir <coughs> good morning mr minot am i audible yes sir yes sir yeah uh, i am sorry actually uh, the internet has been acting up uh, right from today morning <laughs> it is almost okay. like an instant karma that you know whenever we have a session <laughs> it tends to have some kind of uh, barrier uh, anyways i am uh, we will uh, return it to well, sir we will return to uh, with today yeah okay. uh, anyways uh, i am actually thank you mr vinod for uh, inviting me for uh, uh, for a session of this kind especially during this time of pandemic when we are uh, going through a lot of things in life uh, you are being dedicated right from the past 3 uh, 4 months that i have been seeing you uh, so it has it is a wonderful thing that you know uh, edia is still being active even in times of uh, calamities like this and still giving opportunities for participants uh, student community to learn things uh, while you know at the comfort zone of their homes so uh, i personally thank uh, the edi hub at uh, trichy and especially mr vinod malekani for giving me such an uh, you know inspiring introduction <laughs> this is uh, i must say this is the first time actually i have enjoyed my own introduction from another person so uh, thank you vinod sir for uh, you know inviting me in such a good way <laughs> i hope uh, it, i hope it uh, really excites the uh, participants enough to give their best for the next one one and a half hours that we are going to spend together and on that note without uh, further ado uh, i would like to directly enter into the session and uh, also, know, uh, we'll sir, have sorry a talk. to interrupt yeah so sorry to interrupt also the session was uh, hosted by our uh, cd anna university chennai sir nirmal raj field coordinator our uh, uh he is my colleague uh, he is also there he is moderating the session and uh, oh, okay parallelly the it is uh, live streaming in youtube of the uh, center for entrepreneurship development page sir oh nice great so uh, the technology is coming really handy in uh, situations like this huh? uh my my sincere thanks to cd at the university too and the field coordinator there to support uh, I, i i actually uh, i am very happy to say that even i was a field coordinator at one point of time in my life and uh, i was really longing for such a, a supportive uh, colleagues uh, in the field to you know uh, support us in all ways possible so seeing this kind of support between different hubs is really uh, enthusiastic to me too so on that note uh, uh, my sincerest wishes to cd and university and vinod sir also to thank collaborate you. on such a big scale thank you sir thank you yeah uh so i i request actually the uh, uh, host to uh, allow me to present the screen i mean to share my uh, ppt so, uh, once they make me the co host i think i'll be able to share my screen yes sir it's done yeah. sir. you can share yeah. yeah yeah the internet today is really slow i am very sorry about that thing <laughs> certain things are beyond our uh, hands as we say so <laughs> i hope everyone uh, cooperates uh, and you know uh, is patient enough with me today anyways uh, before actually stepping into the session i always uh, uh, promise one thing from my side i am not sure whether the session is going to be as interesting as you expect or as enthusiastic as you expect but i am certain that you know uh, for the next 60 odd minutes at every one of you uh is going to spend with me i shall do the best to my justice 
possible to you know uh, make that uh, 60 70 60 or minutes as useful as possible i'm not sure if it is interesting as possible but i'm sure it will be very useful uh, maybe not right now but probably in the future for some of you so i hope all the participants uh, are from a diverse background uh, you know there might be students who are uh, who are aspiring entrepreneurs there might be students who are budding entrepreneurs or there might be even neutral students who you know are coming just for the sake of okay let's try this uh, new thing uh, let's try this webinar being it you know a different topic that we see uh, art of selling so anyway the reason i selected this particular topic actually i was given the liberty to select the topic by mr vinod so i selected the uh, topic of art of selling because i wanted to connect to as many number of people as possible this particular session is not just for you know people who want to become entrepreneurs but it is for anyone who you know uh, wants to develop a skill of making oneself sell not just product or service in terms of business but even in terms of our personality and character uh, think of it in this way selling you know right from childhood uh, it doesn't matter which family you belong to which genes you have which generation you belong to uh, Uh, selling is something which is quite normal and natural for every, anyone and everyone you know uh, imagine this way like uh, because of the diversity of the crowd i may uh, every now and then uh, go into bilingual mode uh, please bear with me those who you know enjoy the session only in english but uh, i am a sort of person who actually likes to connect with the audience not just through the language uh, but also through the uh, variety of uh, words that we speak so every now and then i, would, I may go into bilingual mode so please bear with me in that way Uh, selling is like you know uh, uh, a basic uh, character that every one of us possesses uh, right from childhood imagine like you know you are your 7 6 7 8 years old and you are you are longing to have a bicycle you are longing to ride a bicycle of your own uh, so how will you actually convince your parents uh, you know or grandparents to actually buy you a bicycle cycle ota theriya but still you have the urge to actually own a bicycle because your friend has a bicycle right அப்படி இருக்கும்போது பேரண்ட்ஸையோ கிராண்ட் பேரண்ட்ஸையோ யார் வாங்கி கொடுக்குறாங்களோ அவங்கள எப்படி கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணுவோம்னு கொஞ்சம் லைக் ஹவு தட் ஜோக் சீன் கம்ஸ் நவ் யூ ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் எயிட் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்ட் வாட் ஹேப்பன் வென் யூர் ட்ரைங் டு பை அ பைசைக்கிள் எப்படி கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணுவோம் பேரண்ட்ஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி வென் வி டி நோ ஈவன் ஹவு டு ரைட் அ பைசைக்கிள் வி வாண்ட் அ பைசைக்கிள் ஸோ திங்க் ஆஃப் இட் தட் வே யூனோ ஸோ அந்த அந்த சின்ன வயசுல இருந்து செல்லிங் ஆர்ட் ஆஃப் செல்லிங்கிறது நேச்சுரலி நமக்கு இருக்கிற விஷயம் தான் சில பேர் உண்ணாவிரதம் பண்ணிருப்போம் சில பேர் உருண்டு பிறண்டு அழுது இருப்போம் ரைட் சில பேர் வந்து தாஜா பண்ணிருப்போம் அப்பா யூ ஆர் தி கிரேட்டஸ்ட் டேட் இன் தி வேர்ல்ட் யூ ஆர் தி கிரேட்டஸ்ட் மதர் இன் தி வேர்ல்ட் இப்படி எல்லாம் சொல்லி அவங்க தாஜா பண்ணிருப்போம் ரைட் இது எல்லாமே எல்லாம் ஒரு விதத்துல வந்து ஆர்ட் ஆஃப் செல்லிங் தான் இட்ஸ் செல்லிங் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் கன்வின்சிங் பீப்புள் தட் யூனோ வி ஹாவ் அ குட் ஐடியா ஆர் வி ஹாவ் அ குட் ப்ராடக்ட் ஏதோ விக்க ட்ரை பண்றீங்களா என்னோட ப்ராடக்ட் நல்லா இருக்கு கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ண ட்ரை பண்றீங்க நீங்க ஆண்டர்பிரனரா ஃபண்டிங்காக ட்ரை பண்றீங்களா யூ ஆர் கன்வின் யூர் ட்ரைங் டு கன்வின்ஸ் the uh, people that your idea is good and they can invest their money in your idea right so selling is all about convincing others how to as simple as that and convincing begins as early as you know even infant 7 8 years old infant lend aarambichu think of a baby who doesn't know even how to speak or cry or a 1 year old baby still avangal language theriyadhu they don't know alphabets they don't know how to speak words but still they are able to communicate very effectively with people around them especially their grandparents and parents whoever is around them. right from their own actions you know people can understand what those what that particular baby is trying to say so selling angirathu by by birth is a given the right to us just like how we say six senses right six senses in all human beings selling is also one part of the sixth sense that we have it's a, it's a it's a kind of common sense that we have the art of reasoning the art of logical sequencing idellame selling dhan solluvom ore vaarthaila solla pona selling is all about convincing people right anyways Uh, but but to sell something or to convince people we need the power of communication with us right uh, we need the power of language with us uh, you know uh, communication not is not just language but uh, particularly uh, books valiya padika ponuna communication ingrad language muliyama da namakku theriyum right but but in put in simple words uh, i think uh, most of your college students the participants and you might have come across this definition of communication right it is a piece of message that one person wants to send to other person and the other person who is receiving the message should receive it in the same sense and give a feedback and the response apdi nadandha da adu vandu or complete communication namu otherwise it is just a one way communication like a speech like a political leader you know standing on the stage and you know uh, uh, 
uh, speaking a lot of things on mic it is one way communication but actually communication is two ways where the receiver receives the information from sender just how it is intended to be and sends a feedback right other total communication this is just a theoretical aspect even though it is just a theoretical aspect uh, basics are most important right when you want to achieve on something great we can never forget the basics that's why i'm spending a few minutes of this time you know uh, in explaining again what is communication and how it happens right but since uh, communication is a two way process and it has to happen between two or more people there is always uh, room for barriers there is always room for some kind of noise to happen between them right the channel of communication uh, for example in iki po in the session la paaka pona or first 5 to 10 minutes i had a barrier of you know technical uh, difficulty where my internet was not connecting and i was late to the session that is also one kind of barrier uh, if we are meeting person face to face if we are having a in person uh, communication there might be lot of barriers which i have just listed on the screen i think everyone is able to see the screen now like uh, like poor listening i might not be a very good listener so maybe 50 60 minutes uh, the class lecture pandranga professor na bodu or 10 15 nimisham da uiroda irpo illaya adukapra kitta thatta or 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 30 odd minutes vand physically present a irpo mentally absent a irpo that, that is called poor listening it is also one barriers to communication mm-hmm. technical difficulties data misinterpretation solla vara vishayatha thappa purinjikirathu misunderstanding there are a lot of mis- most common word in 21st century today i think should be you know misunderstanding wrong information <laughs> then there might be a case of incomplete sentence sometimes when we are when we are too uh, uh, you know uh, enthusiastic or like uh, you know too afraid to speak in a, in a big big crowd or when we are at when we are trying to have a very serious conversation with someone Uh, there might be instances where we uh, leave the sentences incomplete or sometimes no paraphrasing you paraphrasing in the sense putting into words exactly what the other person is trying to say and most common kind of misconception is like you know language uh, for for example even now uh, maybe there might be participants like me you know who are not comfortable with completely in english so for them you know i am trying to make it bilingual as possible so language is also one big barrier to communication especially in country like ours where we have so many regional languages you are always comfortable in mother language mother tongue right apdi irukum bodhu english vandu or common language ah tinikapadudhu right from school days so that itself is a big barrier to communication if we think all through our life now, not everyone can master the subject, can master the foreign language of english or french or whatever it might so language is a big barrier to communication again these are theoretical aspects you can even wikipedia them you can youtube them you know you can you can just refer a communi- book on communication right but since we are entrepreneurs our main job is to you know provide remedies to problems not the main job it is the only job of entrepreneurs that you know we identify problems and we give we try to give solution best possible solution to those problems so how do we solve these barriers best way to do is the simplest way to do it eye contact having an eye contact when the other person is trying to speak to us nodding like nodding means thalai attrathu solr so purinja mariyada thalai attempt teachers can join but that that is called nodding then uh, most important thing the source of misunderstanding is not letting others complete what they want to try or what they want to say um you know thanga pesumbodhu naduliya avanga sonnadhu vandu thappa assume panni pesirru that is let others complete Don't, don't jump to conclusion this is most common problem we have today prejudice um uh, we try to judge a person not by knowing them but just by looking at them that is called as prejudice in the later slides i have a little more to say about prejudice you know there i'll spend much more time on that uh, clarity or uh, there will not be enough clarification on the side of the speaker sometimes receivers will not understand what the speaker is trying to say like it might be the case even right now because we are physically apart we are just meeting virtually uh, it's, it's sometimes you know in the beginning it felt like you know yaar petha puliyo na paatta kadaiyittirukene avanga kekkraangala illaya abdinella irundha aarambathila that is that is called clarification uh, immediate clarification is not possible in virtual classrooms like this uh, well, while physically you know even eye contact will make me understand whether the person is listening and being patient so to solve the virtual class problem is actually the solution is being patient like trying to listen what the other person has to say like i said the last point listening well because it is virtual class and i am not physically present there the participants have no other way but to actually try and listen to what i am saying 
பிசிக்கலி இருக்கும்போது அட்லீஸ்ட் என் பாடி ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் வச்சு ஏதோ ஒரு புரிஞ்சிருக்கலாம் இதுதான் இவர் சொல்ல வர அப்படின்னு சோ திஸ் ஆர் சம் சிம்பிள் ரெமெடிஸ் தட் கேன் யூ நோ சால்வ் தி ப்ராப்ளம் ஐ ஆம் சாரி பவர் ஹாஸ் பின் கட் தட்ஸ் வை யூ நோ மேபி இட் ஃபீல்ஸ் லைக் மை ஸ்கிரீன் ஹஸ் பிளாக் அவுட் uh be patient for a couple of minutes if power will be back thanks to tneb for again this kind of a barrier in this session yeah uh, most importantly as i said you know language is just one part of communication language anger is just for one part you know uh, in fact you know research says uh, non verbal communication actually happens 70% of the time If people try to understand us through non verbal communication rather than verbal communication verbal non verbal abdi solapana verbal means making use of the words to express what we feel what we tell non verbal communication means of course speaking through our actions again take an example of an infant or or chinna kai kolandaoda example eduthupom it doesn't know language it doesn't use words it it communicates with people around uh, only through actions like you know crying laughing smiling taleya sorirathu uh trying to get up and walk that is also one form of communication that babies do that you know they are ready to take the next step in life <coughs> uh, i can i can keep on talking you can have actually a dedicated session only for the form of non verbal communication it is so important actually and being entrepreneurs it is of utmost uh, importance and i cannot stress enough how important non verbal communication is in our field of life because uh, customers you know they don't always speak to us through language we cannot expect customers to reach out to us uh, you know using common language and having a conversation like this they always speak to us through their actions through their behavior uh, through the character that uh, you know they show to us uh, for example if you are trying to sell something face to face or screen la irukra ella vishayangalum neenga konjam notice pannirukalam facial expressions which you can understand whether the customer is happy or not if suppose you are sitting in a hotel and you want to find out whether the customer liked the food or not you just have to observe their face right as soon as they have one spoon of the food how their face changes adhu ve podum ad mattumna review ve adha oru vagayana ad the most important form of communication adhe avangalta poi or owner kekkranga nu vechukonga saapadu eppadi sir undadu they might even lie right just to be polite to the owner they might even lie sir nalla irundhadu but if the customer doesn't return again there that is one form of communication our customer vandu oru tharava vaangittu poi thirumba ungalta varave illa na that is also one form of communication so you know, believe me language is just uh, 20 25% of our life all the other communication that we have that happens in our own personal life also is through actions like facial expressions gestures uh, posture like even the clothes we wear or interesting uh, point uh, i don't know if any of any, any of the participants has noticed this so far uh, you know uh, political leaders or you know presidents of country they are they are often uh, hold a press meet right edha or important uh, decision important seidhi solla pona makkalukku or press meet vepanga maybe next time when the president of us uh, you know uh, no, mr donald trump when he holds a new session அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பிரஸ் கான்பரன்ஸ்ல இருக்கும் போது நோட்டீஸ் பண்ணி பாருங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் இன்வேரியபிலி ஹி will wear only two types two colors of tie either it will be red or it will be blue you know uh, the news reporters will understand just by the color of the tie of us president what uh, mentality he is in what kind of a, a mood he is in mood swings and so on pathinga if the if the guy is wearing a red tie it means he is really in a very bad mood because red is usually associated with anger and danger right if the guy is wearing a blue tie it means he is in a good mood and you know reporters can ask any kind of question that you know will he will not get angry on that so these are just simple ways of communicating with others subtle ways of communicating with others even eye contact as i said a remedy that is also one form of communication usually people who love us or we usually people who we like we have a better eye communication eye contact I think of how you have a conversation with your friends usually best friends best friends always have a communication while looking at each other that is the power of eye contact when we want to avoid some person enna seivom crowd la yosichu paranga po class a bunk adichu market ku porom anga didir nam professor vandirraru avara paaka kodadhu nenikrom appo automatically nam eyes adha first thirpom body is again the last thing that we deal about eye contact ta modha thirpom eye contact is such powerful medium of communication right Uh, when we talk of facial expressions again you know uh, i can give you a very interesting example i am sure most of you would have heard of a guy called leonardo da vinci right uh, a famous italian uh, um, 
artist engineer so many things he was a, he was brilliant at so many things and there is one famous painting that leonardo da vinci is associated with yes sir mona lisa yeah very good a painting of mona lisa very very interesting very intriguing uh, painting you know even till today i think it has been such a long, long period of time since he uh, came up with that painting still it is considered one of the most iconic masterpieces in the field of painting because of the expressions that mona lisa that painting suggests right oh, if you look at it from one point of view it looks like the lady in the painting is smiling if you look at it the other point of view it looks like she's sad it it that one painting captures almost every human emotion possible on the uh, human face that that is the power of facial expression and um, one more thing sir wherever from any point of view wherever you see it from it seems like she is looking at you only ah exactly exactly but i i have to correct you at this point of time almost yes, any painting or almost any photo that we look at actually has that capability uh in oh. the initial years when you know critics did not understand the importance of mona lisa that was the thing they thought you know adha and the picture of beauty adanalada the iconic architecture nenachanga but later on there is a very famous neurosurgeon from usa she is a lady i forgot her name i'm very sorry it has been a long time since i spoke about mona lisa so you can uh, google it actually sure, uh, sir. speciality of mona lisa that neurologist you know she 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 is an expert in understanding facial expression she conducted an experiment where she came up with the answer like you know why mona lisa spent why the painting of mona lisa is so special in fact you know leonardo da vinci himself did not know what was so special when he came up with it he knew something was special but he did not exactly understand what was so special so he literally gifted it to the uh, king in france he did not sell okay, the painting sir. he he literally okay. gifted it to france okay uh, sir believe me that is the one of the biggest jokes possible for any painter you know giving away the painting giving away the best painting they have to right okay so sir. anyway uh, i'm sorry if i deviated from the subject but <laughs> it is such an interesting thing you know that painting of mona lisa the whole yes, concept sir. of facial expressions can be learned by one single painting and that is mona lisa. that's why i chose to spend so much time there anyways okay sir crux of the story is crux of the story is like you know actions speak louder than words so if you need to be a successful uh, not just entrepreneur if you need to be a successful person even in personal life uh, i suggest you know forget language and start noticing much of people's uh, answers or people's communication through their non verbal cues like the kind of dress they wear the the how they have a hairstyle hairstyle in solumbo the ungle kino purira mari solapana pulingo hairstyle you know in recent times that is the thing trending right and the pulling over the concept how did it come actually it came from the kind of uh, hairstyle they have the color of the hairs they have the the way they drive a two wheeler so many things it all me or again a communication they are try- those pulling goes are actually trying to communicate that you know they are cool persons like, you know i am dude i am 2000 i am the youngest generation man. that is a form of communication right? so anyways because it is the most important thing that i can share with all of you people today is chose to spend so much time so forget language as a communication forget verbal communication concentrate more on non verbal cues right? that is how people actually communicate uh, by default without even them knowing they communicate right anyways all this knowledge all this theoretical knowledge of communication non verbal communication actions speak louder than words how to solve the barriers of communication they all me vand it boils down to one single person where are we going to use this knowledge we are going to use this knowledge only when we identify who is our customer right and of course like uh, who is our customer and our concept all begins from actually identifying that particular person and that identification begins from profiling them profiling in the, it it happens in everyday life without even you noticing uh, think of when was the last time you bought some uh, some you made an online purchase on amazon or flipkart right uh, that that one purchase of yours would have given so much of data about you to that particular company that is the power of information right? already they would have collected demographic profile of yours and our amazon agra app la ninga register panna ponaale it would have asked all the basic details you have so demographics collect paniduvanga then the the kind of products you purchase the kind of things you uh, search in the search bar of such uh, websites that will give you an identification of your psychographics psychographics means the the perception of the customer the understanding of the customer simply put the taste and preferences of the customer whether the customer is going to purchase or not apdin the simple question can answer psychographics with right and this is just the beginning the iceberg of your know, tip of the iceberg of a thing called customer apo customer angra concept sales nadathanuna the very important the most important 
person in that entire picture is a customer and identification of the customer is the first step towards that that identification can happen by collecting two kinds of data right one is the demographic data of the uh, uh, customer like how what is the name their marital status age date of birth their gender etc cetera, etc cetera. so those are basic uh, things then uh, the other thing is psychographics the the mentality of the customer the taste and preferences of the customers so lumbo this is answer like but but how do i profile that customer like what tools can i use to actually identify who the customer is from in business so these are the most common tools that we use today for profiling the, the most common tool is survey every time you buy a product online after the second or third day of the delivery of that product you you would be sent a survey email uh, do you have time 30 seconds of your time to fill this quick survey apdi nalla vandrukum try to you know identify these things next step this this will invariably happen with happen with anyone and everyone and that survey will definitely have a question mark right what is the product you purchased whether you are comfortable with that did it reach you on time etc etc this kind of questions or simply uh, when you are in person you can have an observation hotel or example sunna pathila you need not even ask the customer whether the food is nice or not you just have to observe their facial expression so observation is one form of profiling the customer and finally uh, because you people are you know 21st century youngsters website data analytics is the modern buzzword today of customer profiling it happens every single day with every single person whoever owns a, a smartphone mobile right website data analytics is you know, put in simple scenario suppose i am an entrepreneur and i am trying to sell a product i am building a website you know other than that that's what attracts the people today right so i can hire a specialist to analyze uh, all the activities that happen on my websites for example how many people come in Uh, how many minutes do they spend on my website what kind of things do they search on my website uh, you know how many times do they come back to the website and how often do they make purchases on the website this kind of information there are experts who can help you with all this so in the survey question or observation ellame send ore varthe aniki online virtual world website data analytics so website data analytics angiradhu or periya padipu irukku so you can even you know if you want to master that particular art of uh, form of art you can go through that certificate course so this is how we identify the customer this is step number 1 in the art of sales so sales begins from customers and the customers the point of customers begins from understanding them and understanding happens only when you profile them there are there are, there are almost uh, 8 billion people in the world so we cannot say that all the 8 billion people in the world are my customers apdi irukum bodu profile pannu ivunga ella nammoda prospective customers apdi irukum bodu you can you have to collect two types of data from them one is demographic data the other one is psychographic their taste and preferences that can be done from any of the four methods mentioned on the screen here so step number 1 in the art of sales customer profiling is done with right now coming to the main uh, how to say main dish of the story today <laughs> main dish of the uh, whole course of meal today the art of personal selling uh, i am sure more, all of you would have heard personal selling personal selling means selling something person to person in person uh, directly face to face uh, for example medical representatives do that uh, sales any sales rep you know any sales rep our job our job is only personal selling means only but uh, again uh, maybe because we are having this virtual connect uh, most of you would have a question personal selling is completely outdated sir when was the last time you saw a sales person at your door step trying to sell one oxford dictionary or webster's dictionary or an encyclopedia say for that matter or when was the last time you received a sales person on your door step trying to sell a vacuum cleaner or any new product in the market it it, it must be feeling ages you know and the experience along the parents do are kind of younger generation irukad we don't even see uh, you know sales representatives today in our life but then why am i actually telling that this is the main aspect of this particular session because you know as i said basics are most important no matter what medium of communication or what medium of advertising you uh, most common form of advertising today is website data right like facebook la or tani page arambikirathu instagram la or account arambikirathu whatsapp la business account vechikirathu this is the form of selling this is the art of selling that we think today is but all these forms actually evolved from the most basic form called personal selling so youngsters like all of you today uh, would not even have come across a topic called personal selling right we we have literally forgotten that personal selling is the main form of selling that is how we convince people you know ungalukku theliva poriya vakka porona take for an example successful companies like apple or, or tesla cars uh, even 
today those companies are actually following the art of personal selling not website selling right for example uh, the late founder of uh, uh, you know apple king corporation steve jobs he was one of the greatest salesmen ever uh, for the world to have witnessed he expired i think in the year 2012 or 13 or maybe 11 uh, before that you know every single time apple king corporation came up with a new gadget or a new product it was invariably uh, launched by steve jobs he used to hold a press conference just like you know in for vips of politics and uh, he would take at least one hour to you know just explain about the product not even tell what the product is not even show what the product is and then the one hour that he spends to create that enthusiasm itself is more than enough to people to buy uh, you know for example there is a thing called uh, ipad right it, it is nothing but a screen it is nothing but a mobile phone still people are crazy behind ipads sir people were crazy behind ipods in the 2000s right it used to hold a uh, lot number of songs right? or 100 500 rupees or 200 rupees ipod vaangi ka paata ketti polam but still people were ready to spend 6000 10000 rupees for just a small thing it was all the power of selling the, the way that you know steve jobs mentioned that product how revolutionary is it how how revolutionary product it is how will it how will it change the entire life of the customer it is just magical to actually step into that shoes and uh, watch him make a sales happen so maybe after this session if any one of you you know is disturbed by this particular fact so even today big successful companies like that follow personal selling in rakum bodu you uh, youtube la available are just uh, uh, just you know type uh, sales pitch of uh, steve jobs stay sales pitch of late steve jobs appdi potinga or list of sales pitch evaru oru oru vaatiyum avanga product launch pannum bodu eppadi pannanga nu paarenga so even till today successful companies follow the art of personal selling and that's why i have selected this particular main course of meal today right now everything is simple when it is put into step by step process we we are fed with step by step process right from childhood right uh, when you want to master something it is better to break it down into different easy steps and then follow it one by one so in that sense you know i've i've uh, uh, broken up the art of personal selling into six simple steps no matter what you try to sell no matter what service you have not no matter what product you have uh, no matter what idea you have Uh, if you are trying to sell something personally to someone this these are the six steps that you have to follow of course number one is prospecting customer profile nu sonna pathinga adha prospecting who are my possible customers yaar kella enoda product or service theva padra vaippu irukku appdi solra dhaan prospecting let's go through all these six steps with an example right uh, let's assume like you know uh, i have stepped into the sh- shoes of a sales person i have a pre- friend of mine named akshaya and uh, she is uh, because of the need of finance uh, she wants to support herself and she has chosen to you know uh, make sales of encyclopedia edo recent encyclopedia market la irukke adoda sales person a maaritaanga akshaya right and she is coming to me asking opinion as to how to make personal selling happen so this is the advice i would give her right the first thing is the prospecting prospecting in the sense think that you know each one of you is akshaya now and you are trying to make encyclopedia sell first sales again start up of course people around us so our neighborhood maybe if you are in an apartment model or your neighbors maybe if you are in a colony model or your uh, you know people in the colony people in the street ange na prospecting arnu think who might be in the need of encyclopedia uh, for example uh, children right? children are the people who are going to use it actually consumers are the children customers are the parents who are ready to pay for that encyclopedia so you will have to identify which parents will be able to afford the encyclopedia which are the educated parents that understand what the need for their children to have encyclopedia so prospect panni or 100 veedu iruka adha or 40 veeda select panni konu vechipom and that is prospecting profiling the customer <laughs> step number 2 is pre approach pre approach in the sense uh, i did uh, collecting as much information as possible from those possible customers ipo and the 40 per identify panni irukoma adala yaar kandipa purchase pandra vaippu irukku for example if educated parents and video select panni irukona how many children do they have what standard are the children studying so third standard second standard students go encyclopedia kurta use avad so obviously and the parents educated a irundhu avangala pasanga fifth standard ku mela irundha da encyclopedia vaangra vaippu so you know filtering out and the profile panna customers ne filtering out pandra da pre approach idu let's say and the mari or 40 veet la poiittu ipo 30 veeda maarichu 30 per possible uh, people that we can approach then once you have selected those 30 houses 30 people you will identify how to approach them approach in the sense go make a presentation happen almost the third step and the fourth step and are one and the same approach them 
make a presentation happen right after the presentation if they are convinced you will make uh, sales happen other closing them like convince them with your presentation ask them to purchase the product once they purchase the product and give you the money pay you the money that is called as closing and you can even you know how your customers you, know, you can wow your customers by you know giving them discounts or giving them coupons to purchase another thing like think of amazon or flipkart even today they are doing the same thing right every uh, first day of the month you know they'll send you a email that you know you have a offer of offer of 10% if you pay this bill on amazon you have an offer of 20% on this particular website so if you sold them that the way they could make the close sales close so automatically or or mobile recharge kuda nikke nama pandra try pandrona and particular website ku poradilla adha ipo airtel mobile vechirukana airtel website ku poi yaar recharge pandradilla invariably they go to either phone pay or uh, you know google pay or amazon pay because they give you offers that is how sales close happens when you give something additional to the customer right so once you have close we we actually think that the uh, relationship between the seller and the customer uh, expires one that close once the sales happens but actually the true relationship of the customer and the uh, seller actually begins from closing the sales once the purchase and the product purchase pannadhu kapra than the relationship has start out adoda mudiyum nenikrom but adoda da start out the last most important step is following up of that particular thing of that particular customer uh, think it of uh, this way after sales service sir after sales support agro modern day world it means like you know what kind of support does the company provide once the sales has finished suppose i am purchasing an ac today uh, and uh, after one or one and a half years i may need uh, i may be in need of uh, servicing that ac so how easy it for how easy it is for me to you know approach blue star or that particular ac company and get their service or maybe they can even remind me you know it has been 12 months since you purchased the ac it is time for you to service the electronic gadgets one or first three service first five service free solran pathinga two wheelers vaangna four wheelers vaangna this is called after sale service the follow up how long does the customer be in touch with the seller how long is the seller in touch with the customer even after the sales even after you know making the best use of the customer that is that is what you know inspires the customers to you know continue with that particular person so these are the most basic steps anyone has to remember when trying to make a sales happen the step number 1 is prospecting profiling the customer step number 2 pre approach and then the profiled customers new filter panni edukkaradhu the step number 3 is approaching the particular customer presenting them for making the sales happen five and the most important thing after the sales is done following up right for example nama example an encyclopedia once you have sold the encyclopedia maybe after one month or so you can you know uh, give them a call back and the particular customer asking them how useful was the encyclopedia whether it was useful or not Uh, will they be interested in another the latest copy if we fan when it comes uh, maybe you can give a discount in the future copies you know just to keep that customer make purchase happen again and again so these kind of follow ups can be done anyways in the r step you may practically implement panna pona the most difficult task would be of course to approach the customer right approach panna bodu present panna bodu na enna da sir solradha ungalta like how do i convince them solidvenga easy a convince pannunga convince pannunga how do we convince them right in that particular step of approach uh, always follow a simple formula called fab approach f a b whenever you talk about a product or trying to sell an encyclopedia what are the features of that encyclopedia why should a first customer purchase that encyclopedia and not anyone else's encyclopedia so what are the features maybe you can say that you know my encyclopedia comes in a virtual format cd is attached free cd is attached or you can say that you know you have support from the website so every single time you want to search something you need not you know flutter the pages of the book you can simply go to the website of the encyclopedia and search for it it will guide you particularly where that information is these are the features you can say about the advantages advantages in the sense you know it contains a lot of information uh, children ku uh, uh, attractive irukadnal it is not just words there are a lot of colorful pictures involved maybe you if you have come across an encyclopedia you will relate to whatever i'm saying encyclopedia most number of pages will be covered with a photo it will have as less number of words as possible right uh, it will have facts but it will never have an essay or you know uh, paragraph and paragraph of information it will have facts and pictures so that people can easily assimilate the information that is an advantage uh, benefits why should that particular customer use that encyclopedia like you know you can improve your knowledge you will have your child engaged 
you can make your child you know get away from electronic devices and sit in one place with a book idella benefits in solla to convince the you know customer not the consumer so fab approach believe me always works when you try to convince someone all we try to say is the positive things about the product and the positive things about the product and co- incorporates between these three points features advantages and benefits as simple as that right anyways easier said than done sir practically theoretically solla pona romba easy da ellame but but how do i actually put it into practice is it as easy as we just mentioned like you know fab approach flow is follow up presentation right uh for in that case you know i want to uh, suggest a simple scenario you know simple uh, 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 an example of how these things are to be uh, practiced imagine like you know you are a student in the in a college and uh, uh, you are a foodie <laughs> just like me i am a big foodie i love food i love i love trying different kind of cuisines right and uh, just like me you are also a foodie and you you decide to you know convert your uh, uh, passion into a business convert your passion into an entrepreneurial journey and so you you make up your mind that you know you want to open a restaurant but opening up a restaurant is a huge responsibility right now you don't have enough uh, finance or enough uh, investing uh, investors available to open up a restaurant so you try to open it up in a small way lunch box delivery system uh every almost every college student has this complaint uh, that you know they want good hot food for their lunch so you identify this problem and you are trying to give solution to this or it, it might be teachers it might be students so you are trying to open up a business called lunch box delivery service where you are trying to provide hot meals to all the faculties and students in the campus this is the business that we have in mind right uh i want each and every individual now in the participants to make use of this particular steps six steps on pathingla right from prospecting till follow up how will you plan the uh, the launch of your lunch box delivery service how will that business work now uh, i'll i'll give five let's say there are six points right so i'll give you 10 minutes time uh, one and a half minutes for each of these things so take 10 minute every individual i want every individual to take 10 minutes time and fill up this particular page you can make use of an a4 sheet if you have or if you are if you are attending this webinar on a laptop maybe open up a word document and you know we can uh, try this uh, fill up all the six steps that we just discussed uh, the business that we are trying to do is lunch box delivery system inside a campus and your prospective customers are of course teachers and students so how will you fill up all these six steps i will give you 10 minutes time right uh if there are any doubts please feel free to ask me i'll be online sir all the six steps can you please repeat once uh step number 1 is of course prospecting that is customer profiling right how do you profile a customer uh who are the possible customers then step number 2 is pre approach and the possible customers lo kuda there will be people who are who may not be interested in your business or who may not actually make a purchase from your business say i want hot meals from for my lunch but i do not have the purchasing power to purchase hot meals so i have to bring curd rice from my home no other way so i am not a possible customer right you can you can leave me out adu pre approach and collecting the information reasonable information of all those prospects to you know filter out all the non essential ones that is pre approach step number 3 is approach approach means of course that fab thing we saw uh, features advantages and benefits of that lunch box delivery system in presentation how will you present okay. that idea to the end customer and the features advantage benefit irukke liya eppadi adha present panuvinga that is presentation number 5 close once you are convinced like whether you are going to get an advance from them or you know it is after uh, after you, you actually consume the food payment service or just like in hotels you eat the first, food first and then pay for it if it is a delivery system sometimes it might be you know pay for the food first and then get the delivery what kind of business you have closing that and the last thing is follow up uh maybe your your lunch box delivery system is famous now and uh, what are the steps that you what are the measures you are taking to keep in touch with those happy customers or how do you keep uh, you know uh, reinventing your business to match the needs of the customers as generation as time progresses maybe what is special today may not be special tomorrow uh, for example uh, about 4 or 5 years ago this burmese food called atto came into the market right it it uh, it made a revolutionary impact on all the youngsters from pani puri to athos so that is a kind of follow up so if people need athos for lunch if people need pani puri for lunch follow up. 
right so these okay. are the six steps uh please feel free to uh, fill up these six steps for our business of lunch box delivery system inside the campus right i'll give you 10 minutes time dear participants this is an activity session uh, as uh, our speaker has mentioned about that so please uh, fill this fill this uh, we uh, it is it will be a really interesting uh, i hope that so the audience who were there uh, please try to fill this if if you are having any doubts uh, you can ask uh, yes of course i'll be waiting on the line just to avoid distraction i will switch off my video and audio i'll keep the presentation on the screen in case anyone has any doubts to ask you can switch on your mic and ask me any time you want to i'll be on the line i hope the audience are uh, uh, trying to fill their uh, prospecting pre approach approach presentation close follow up of uh, lunch delivery of hot meals just an activity there is no wrong or uh, right answer uh, whatever uh, the whatever it in, in your mind you please try to Uh, have jot in your uh, paper uh, we can validate with our uh, resource person if you want to know what 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 is what is prospecting or pre approach so can i answer the i have completed can i answer sir uh, other sir yeah yeah so we can we just uh, maybe wait for a couple of more minutes you know okay, uh, let's sir, just sure. keep in touch with all the participants let us give them also the time they need right okay sir sure yeah yeah this is our uh, first activity session sir uh, post pandemic uh, we used to have the activity session uh, <laughs> this is a virtual session we are trying it sir you are the right person uh, we are experimenting with you sir <laughs> thank you sir thank you i hope actually the, the, there are a lot of constraints of course in virtual way i am mm. still not even sure whether all the participants are engaged but anyway sir uh, i think solution will come uh, as and when we try So, yeah. yes, sir, we'll be good this afternoon. Uh, mm, so okay, sir. So this is an activity session. Uh, present, uh, the audience have given uh, 10 minutes time by the resource person. They are uh, filling this. Uh, selling is a sack of trust between buyer and seller. That quote uh, he suggested another example. Uh, selling of uh, lunch uh, in a school or a college. Uh, he has explained about prospecting pre-approach approach presentation. now as a participant we are uh, going we are doing an activity uh, we are just filling that personal selling card so uh, you, those who are uh, come uh, right now uh, don't feel that we are uh, in a silent mode 
uh, we are doing an activity um, so virtual mode we are doing an activity the participants who are all uh, joined earlier uh, are much eager in filling this activity some of the participants have completed they have acknowledged uh, us um, doubts irundalum kekkalanga onnu problem illa doubts irundha kelunga இப்ப தப்பு தமிழ்ல சப்போஸ் உங்களுக்கு இதுல என்னென்ன தெரிய வேணும்னா கூட கேளுங்க बिकॉज நான் ஸ்டார்ட் செஷன் ஸ்டார்டிங்ல பைலிங்கல் சொல்றேன் பட் ஐ நோ தட் मोस्ट ஆஃப் தி செஷன் ஹஸ் பீன் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் சோ ஃபார் ப்ளீஸ் சார் பைலிங்கலா தான் இருந்துச்சு நல்லா கரெக்டா தான் இருந்துச்சு சார் பட் இந்த டைம் ஒரு சில பேர் புதுசா இப்ப ஜாயின் ஆயிருக்காங்க சார் இப்போ தான் அட்மிட் கொடுத்தேன் யா அவங்க திடீர்னு பாத்துறே என்ன மியூட்ல இருக்குன்னு நினைச்சு கூட நம்பர் ஆஃப் பார்ட்டிசிபன்ஸ் இன்கிரீஸ் யா ஓகே சார் I need a scenario slide. Okay. A scenario slide. Okay. This is the scenario slide. <coughs> uh, anyways, uh, in the, while all the participants try to go through the activity, Srinidhi is ready. So, shall we hear from Srinidhi? Like, what is your idea of ah, yes, sir. this particular uh, business to launch? Ah, yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Women entrepreneur. Yeah. Is she yeah. one of, one of <laughs> your uh, products of your mentorship? Minutes. I'm also doing as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nirmal, dear Nirmal, we can yeah, yeah. wait for okay. you also. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> we have completed it. Oh, okay, ma'am. Many of them uh, are completed, sir. Completed it. So, so we have really bright students among us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. I'm having one, one, one hand a mobile phone and another... I know, I know. You're, you're already a multi-tester. I, I just saw the <laughs> well, WhatsApp just, status uh, of yours also. Uh, <laughs> actually i got an interesting uh, query in the chat section also privately uh, from uh, one of the participants her uh, name is uh, shri shrudi uh, and i would i will paraphrase the question actually so uh, instead of spending time and money for cooking and delivering uh, you know particular type of food why don't we start something like dabba walas of mumbai like you know where we don't engage uh, where we don't engage ourselves in cooking the food rather than just engage ourselves in delivering the food we can you know outsource the uh, action of cooking to someone else who really is a very good cook so probably i understand sri shuti is not a good cook <laughs> and wants to outsource that particular activity <laughs> no it is not like that sir uh, but <laughs> i thought this idea would work so that is why yeah yeah i i, I, I was just trying to pull your leg please don't get emotional <laughs> no, no problem sir thank you uh, because we are in this particular uh, modern generation you know i come across a lot of Uh, male who are good in cooking and female even my my that the scenario is the same in my own home i could actually impress in cooking these days <laughs> yeah, so anyway srinidhi shall we hear you out yes sir I, i think you have completed yeah please yes sir sir i'll give you my opinion on this because uh, okay. uh i have a view so i'll give you my view and correct me in the places that i'm going wrong okay yeah, sir yeah please 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 yes sir uh, I, so, i hope you have come up with a elevator pitch right or <laughs> i guess sir i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay okay please so sir in the prospecting i find it a little different because when it's taken in the perspective of a college or a or a or a perspective of a college or a school then mm-hmm. you definitely have a canteen there right okay yeah, yeah. so uh, basically in a college or a school uh, outside food is prohibited okay okay so uh, the idea of a dabba wala will be not very engaging in a school or a college campus okay okay fine okay so we can go reconnect with the uh, school canteen systems and we can mm-hmm. get a cook we can get a cook okay. it's it it requires a little bit of planning there so we can just hire a cook and then every college or a school has a common group 
and common prayer session okay where you can yeah, yeah, uh, course, let people know let people know that there is this service that is going to come okay a form of advertising yeah, yeah. yes it's a form of advertising and letting uh, people know that you have something like this okay okay and uh, every day we can post certain kind of cuisines which we can uh -huh. prepare at that day okay and the, uh, from that we can you know get uh, people's uh, you know uh, uh, who feedback. wants what uh, yeah. feedback and who wants what and in so, what amount so actually you are actually you are coming up with a business plan directly ah uh, yes sir uh, you are you are you are actually trying to explain the business plan <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sorry, okay. okay okay yeah, yeah, no, problem, so, no problem so this also indulges in pre approach the uh, in yeah, this definitely. place you can definitely know who wants the service and who, and who yeah, doesn't yeah. okay so and it, who wants which kind of food yeah yes so it automatically sorts out the problem of these two questions yeah prospecting then, and pre approach yeah yes then is presentation okay, yeah for presentation i would like to like uh, stick on to the uh, kolapasi santosh you know kolapasi right? <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so yeah, he, he made a wave was, actually Yes, sir. He delivers uh, his uh, food with a special message. Okay. When it is from the internet, you source your uh, uh, people who want your uh, service from internet or the mm -hmm. or the common group that you have for the school or college. You mm -hmm. definitely will know what uh, he psychologically wants. Mm, definitely, right. that's what he... understanding the taste and preferences of yeah. the customer. so okay. it automatically gets to your nerves and you can satisfy him the way he wants it yeah understanding the psychographical department yes. of profiling okay yes. okay and you can add a tinge of it on the presentation like you can present the, food the way he likes it like yeah, yeah uh, i get you i get you it's called in, in in terms of cooking it is called garnishing right exactly sir <laughs> you put something to garnish something okay yeah Bec how, sorry yeah. sir i'm very i'm not very into cooking but i'm very good at you know marketing things <laughs> so yeah okay. good thank you sir okay so and how will you follow up actually follow up okay now the uh, the close and follow up will be like uh, in the same group i will be like um, asking them more questions and for facts that what more can be done i will get it from the feedback mm -hmm. itself and i will follow yeah, that up that is a saying, form of close here yeah. yes sir and i will also when i will deliver the food to them i will ask them if they uh, if they like it or not if they will continue or not mm -hmm. if they definitely like the taste they will definitely continue simple as and that. to make sure yes sir as simple as that i so, guess yeah. i no actually you, well. you yeah yeah you have come up with an entire business plan rather than the personal selling plan right? <laughs> so yours is a, a from a to z plan i just wanted the you know middle parts of how do we personally sell that it's it's no problem for okay. me I, i can understand uh, when we talk when we actually come come with a new idea of a new business we we become uh, Uh, very interested in that and we forget <laughs> yes, what we are yeah yeah i know i know and being it a very simple business to you know plan it it, it you know uh, kinds of make us uh, jump out of our seats and come up with an idea yes sir yes sir anyway, uh, uh, there is just a simple suggestion i might give like you know follow yes, up sir. instead of asking the question whether they like the food or not yes sir let's all together skip skip that question okay sir uh, there is no point in asking someone whether they like the food or not when okay, actions speak louder than words you know okay, you can sir. simply yeah, yeah. ask what is the next food they want to order if yes, they sir. order it automatically translates into you know they have liked your food if they yes, don't sir. order it automatically translates into they don't like your food as simple yes sir so, yes sir so, non verbal but it is a pretty yeah but it is a pretty good business continuity thank you thank you for actively thank you, you know, participating thank uh, you sir thank because you it is not much. a physical session i am not uh, mm -hmm. you know able to give a give a round of applause from all the participants but on behalf of the participants i will give you a big round of applause thank right? you sir thank you so much <laughs> yeah Yeah. Thank you, Shrinidhi. Uh, yeah. Uh, Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. I think it is Sri Shudhi, right? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Speaking. Uh, so I would yeah. like to. Please. Hello. Please. Hello. Oh, ma'am, take it, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I just want to uh, convey yeah, one. Yeah. You are you are audible, Sri Shudhi. Please. Okay. Uh, Actually, I met her through the uh, Zastra session last week. 
டபாவால பத்தி பிளான் சொன்னது வந்து இட் இஸ் ஃபார் ஃபண்ட் ரேசிங் அண்ட் நாட் ஃபார் செல்லிங் அண்ட் ஆல் ஓகே நம்பர் 1 நம்பர் 2 வந்து ஃபார் ஃபாலோ அப் செஷன் பார்பிக்யூ நேஷன் மாதிரி கொஞ்சம் பெரிய ரெஸ்டாரன்ட்ஸ் எல்லாமே தே யூஸ் டு கலெக்ட் சம் டேட்டா Uh, like birthday anniversary mm, yeah. uh, or a reminder message okay so or on their special day uh, we will give you a dis- discount or uh, during this time we discount. will discount exactly okay discount or offers and the madri kudupom abdingra mari we can project adu vandu in fact customer uh, uh, retain pandrathukku oru nalla strategy nu enakku thonudhu yes exactly uh, she should actually because of the uh, constraints in time limit i had to skip a thing called wowing your customer personal selling la wowing your customer is one big aspect uh, wowing your customer means going one step ahead of your competitor for example if i order a cake for the what to celebrate the birthday of my wife you know from a cake shop nearby uh, if if suppose that cake is delivered to my doorstep along with all the free candles and knife and maybe a happy birthday message to my wife at any time of the day that i want it will automatically you know excite me to go again make the purchase from it so the whenever you are free just start you know try to go around the concept of wowing your customers there are a lot of uh, steps as to wow your customer if you just on barbecue or example could and wowing your customer now when some hotel actually recognizes my birthday and gives a special discount on my birthday eppadi na birthday hotel la poi saapada dhan pora ellaroda instead of going to some x and y hotel i'll go and select barbecue nation so that is one good way just for the uh, you know information of all other participants that are here so the wowing your customer padichu paarenga that is a very good way of retaining customer not just retaining but to impressing the customers everything is about impressing today uh, today customers are not satisfied with just being happy so uh, creating a brand loyalty yeah yeah exactly creating loyalty is actually repeat customers other than a loyalty more not just purchasing once but making multiple purchases again and again over a duration of time other than simple and more worth la loyalty nu solikrom right uh, not going to another competitor and staying with us so, yeah yeah that is a very good idea actually uh, maybe concept as already munadi you example sold things for that you know big uh, round of applause for you <laughs> thank, you, so thank you thank you thank you thank you anyways uh, because of the uh, lack of you know time constraint here i am sure every participant has given their best shot in coming up with this particular uh, personal selling plan there is no right or wrong answer or there is no perfect personal selling plan uh, per se or business idea nadathukitta environment to environment change agum person to person change agum customers to customers change agum so i cannot say that you know this particular personal selling plan is the perfect one or the other personal selling plan is not correct அப்படி ஒரு கரெக்ட் இன் கரெக்ட்ங்கற क्वेश्चनே கிடையாது आंसर இஸ் an answer a personal selling plan is a personal selling plan so you just have to keep working on that personal selling plan to you know uh, reinvent yourself again and again to keep abreast in the updation of the market so it is one tool which never expires uh, suppose i am launching a business and i want to use this tool அப்படி launching பண்ணும்போது மட்டும் தான் அந்த tool யூஸ் பண்ணனும் அவசியம் கிடையாது maybe after 3 or 6 months time when the market has market is shifting towards better taste and preferences i can employ this particular you know page again to come up with a new launch of a new product so every single time this particular personal selling step helps a lot uh, just to have a small recap of all the six steps it is prospecting pre approach approach presentation close up uh, close and follow up and uh, in approach the most important term that we need to remember is the fab approach uh, ex- trying to explain what are the features advantages and benefits right anyways uh this particular uh, thing you know actually brings us to the last thing the last concluding part of the day uh why miss trinidhi was actually going to present her uh, business plan i asked her whether she is going to do an elevator pitch yeah. for those participants who are not an elevator pitches elevator uh, gives you maximum impact in the most a couple of minutes ago Uh, when Srinidhi began her business plan, it was pretty interesting to each and everyone. But as time dragged on, I am sure a lot of you would have, you know, uh, became impatient. Like, how? What is she going to conclude? Or what is her concluding personal selling plan? That impatience happens when a lot of time is being taken by the person to explain their idea. Uh, you know, uh, the studies say, uh, uh, I didn't take memory, bo. I didn't take memory in the sense. இப்ப நான் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்த விஷயத்த அதே டோன்ல அதே வார்த்தை ஒரு வார்த்தை கூட மாத்தாம திரும்ப ரிப்பீட் பண்ற கெபாசிட்டி ஐடியடிக் மெமரி தட் இஸ் 
the eidetic memory of an average human being is for a maximum of 60 to 90 seconds that is how elevated pitch came into existence right uh, trying to convince a person within 60 to 90 seconds of time that is elevator pitch it is very powerful when you come across the fourth step of that uh, personal selling plan personal selling plan the fourth step was presentation after you approach that is features advantages and benefits and the features advantages and benefits of your product or service sir, 60 to 90 seconds that will be an instant success because that is the only duration people will be able to remember what you said after 60 to 90 seconds whatever you say will you know go out and go in like this and go out like this so it is as simple as that so again uh, if you want to get into the theoretical aspect of elevator pitch google it a lot of things are there on the uh, Google explaining what elevator pitch is. How do you have to do an elevator pitch? But to sum up how to do an elevator pitch, these are the steps that we need to follow. First thing is identifying your goal. Why do I need that elevator pitch? And explaining what you do. The most important thing in that 60 to 90 seconds is explaining what particular my product is services. And how do you explain that fab features advantage benefit? By explaining what is the unique selling proposition. What is so unique in your business? That customer should come to you rather than go to someone else. That USP must be, must be, you know, uh, put into the minds of the customers as stressfully as possible. Engaging with the question. Uh, there is no better way of communication than getting a feedback. And feedback happens only when the other person is also given a chance to speak. It cannot happen by giving a speech. It has to be a proper, uh, you know, uh, uh, an in interactive session and you can maybe even ask for example if uh, take that lunchbox delivery system we can give an opportunity for the customer prospective customer to explain what are the taste and preferences for example they might like chinese food or in particularly chinese food they might uh, they might dislike noodles and they might like particularly rice and even in rice, they might dislike being vegetables, a lot of vegetables in the rice there might be people who like a lot of vegetables in the rice so on the customer taste and preferences theory you know, question and that question should be given a honest answer from them so that is how that usp can be dealt with and the unique selling proposition then finally you put all these things together just like how you prepare a recipe you know uh, put half kilo of this put one kilo of this put three liters of water all these things and you put all these things together and come up with a Brand new elevator pitch. Once you have come up with a brand new elevator pitch, keep practicing it again and again. Stand before a mirror at your home, uh, set the timer in your mobile, and you know try to uh, try to explain that whole concept of yours within 60 to 90 seconds. Once you have practiced it enough, then maybe uh, go to the uh, customer with that uh, you know, final presentation. So that is what is elevator pitch all about. Uh, I am very sorry that my I think my screen has stuck up a little bit on the laptop. Anyways. And every now and then in the middle, I think you would have heard a baby's uh, sound. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so when we talk about the six steps of that particular uh, personal art of personal selling uh, and the approach to every features, advantages, benefits, fab approach and so on, in that presentation part, how do you explain that fab in, an in that presentation? That presentation should be not longer than 60 to 90 seconds, right? That 60 to 90 seconds is what is called as elevator pitch. Uh, for any of you, if you have, you know, any doubts regarding how this elevator pitch works, how do I go across it? You can even contact me later on personally to, to tailor made for your own business, right? And that particular elevator pitch will help you uh, convince the person in as minimum time as possible, right? So. Uh, that's it from the art of selling. Uh, in case uh, any of you have any kind of queries, this is the time for you to keep calm and ask questions. Feel free to switch on your mic and throw all your questions at me. Sir, thank you, sir. Uh, it was a wonderful session. And if you have elevator with Sonning, sir, actually, Tamil yeah. Student Innovators uh, 2019, we used to try with our participants, sir. Elevator pitch, uh -huh. two minute presentation, yeah. sir. So, I think uh, Mr. Udaya from Tech Inventor. Ah, he yes, won the award using an elevator pitch. <laughs> ah, definitely, sir. Two minutes to use. Plus, yeah. uh, in the time, la, there are students on the gang, sir. Tamil Nadu student innovators 2020 start. Maybe EDI agenda is not going to So, in the elevator pitch, there are additional add on. Maria, uh, apart from personal selling plan, uh, yeah. in the additional. Uh, 
uh, actually pers- selling uh, concludes with uh, presentation right so on the presentation should be an elevator pitch there is no other way definitely sir definitely mm-hmm. yeah can you share yeah. your elevator pitch slide once uh, someone has asked me that question so yeah this is the elevator uh, pitch this slide. is phoenix yeah. yes phoenix <laughs> sir i am a big i suck at elevator pitches actually because oh, that was I quite clear a... <laughs> that was quite clear with your business plan instead of personal <laughs> selling plan yes sir that is the problem that i always have i am a overthinker and i guess i am an overachiever also so yeah. i think a little much and i keep on speaking so i need to like control things in that way and i want to practice elevator pitch and how do i do it Uh, the best way to do is the last point in that particular slide practice practice, practice and practice, practice. And practice. <laughs> yeah practice before a mirror uh, practice yes, until you are fed up with your own face <laughs> that is the only way to move forward uh, no actually i i can understand how hard it is to put all the information that we want to within 60 to 90 seconds but yes, the sir. whole point of elevator pitch is not to go detailed right no one yes, is interested sir. in all the details you have to say Uh, yes, details. Sir. You save the details only for people those who are real, those who really matter to your business. For example, uh, when you feel that there is a prospect in one particular person to become a okay. customer or to become an investor for your business. After your crowd, Malta, matu na you have to take more than ninety seconds. When you don't come across such a crowd and when they are just generalizing your idea, I am very sorry about the background noise. Uh, I have no, been given okay, the sir. I have been given the. Uh, Uh, work of uh, being a nanny at home because i'm working from home <laughs> you know so i could he, i couldn't avoid this and any further <laughs> that's Anyways, okay sir so so the whole point of elevator pitch is uh, cutting out all the unnecessary information for unnecessary people uh, to put in simple words so just an idea enna angra theriya vekkrad mattum elevator pitch uh, okay, an sir. elevator pitch can be tailor made for different audiences you know okay sir uh, if it is investors they will be more interested in what is the returns they get If it is okay, a customer, sir. customer will be more interested in what is the fab they get. So, up here, come on. For every different person, you pitch your elevator pitch. Uh, maybe prepare a different pitch all together. Uh, okay. Crux sir. of the idea will be the same. I will explain what you do. Na crux of the idea. And the second mm-hmm. point and third point na crux silia. You explain okay, what you sir. do and you say what is the USP. Investors yes, the USP under the what different is there in your business that will earn them more more money, right? Okay. Uh, for a customer, the USP is. What benefit do they gather other than the competitors? Your yes, more elevator pitch will come only by practice. Okay. In the okay. activity, okay. Panamur, I'm sure you know you had only five to ten minutes time, so elevator pitch is difficult. But yes, uh, once you keep practicing, it will become a habit of yours. Okay, sir. Sure. Okay. Any other questions from the audience? Any sir, other questions? Uh, this is Nirmal, sir. Yes, yes, Mr. Nirmal, please. Yeah, one doubt, sir. If you are doing an elevator pitch within sixty uh, sixty seconds or ninety uh, seconds, okay. how we are going to engage them with questions? In what way? If you are going to ask some questions, they have to respond, and uh, we have to solve the uh, questions. The engaging with questions, uh, can you explain in detail? Ah, uh, elevator pitch. I am not going to doubt that. Na question okay. Okay. Every, sir, 60 seconds or 90 seconds, sir, body care. That's a question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Try to ask a question. Which doesn't take much time to answer. Probably it might be a question like yes or no type also, just to make sure that the person is listening. For example, if an encyclopedia we can try to know something, na, our friend Akshaya. Yes. Our simple presentation are more like that. Do you have an encyclopedia at home? This is the question. Yes or no. Our answer is all about you. Upon the yes or no, one second na arko. So that will come within that one minute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you if you are trying to pitch an idea to an investor. You can ask them whether they have invested in an idea of encyclopedia, and then they will say either yes or no, right? Okay. Uh, if they say no, then you can go into the details of why no. Uh, no one said no. You know, not good. Yeah. So you are the first person they will be investing into the idea of an encyclopedia or a lunchbox to me. So uh, you have the power of framing the question. Make you make sure you use that power in the best way possible. The beauty of elevator pitch is that we have that one minute to ourselves. Uh, no matter it is your wife or girlfriend, they have to listen to you for the one minute. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nirmal. Yeah. Thank you, Nirmal. I, I see that uh, Junior Adar sir is also in picture. I yeah, hope, actually, uh, he is answering. He is answering. Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, yes. it's a communication way of communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way of communication. Yeah. Uh, sir, anyways, uh, sorry so, to disturb. Uh, in the time no problem. Extended. Mm. I know from okay, no yeah. actually it has been a very engaging session I enjoy such sessions mm. okay
any other questions from the audience otherwise we can uh, end up the session with a word of thanks yes uh, in case you know uh, most of us are uh, uh, have a problem of starting up i know even including me so in case you come up with uh, a question or a query later on in the day or when you come across different things related to art of selling please feel free to contact me in any of those mentioned uh, methods like i am on facebook i am on twitter sorry i am on insta you can even find me on linkedin or you can simply whatsapp me any other questions um, okay uh, before ending the session uh, i would like to uh, state that uh, i have mentioned uh, a whatsapp link in the chat box so uh, the e certificates will be definitely will be given for you uh, so you please join the whatsapp group uh, i have mentioned in the chat box uh, vinod sir can you hear me by uh, mr adarsh vinod sir yes actually mr vinod was literally stuck in between <laughs> oh, okay sorry sir uh, i i thought that i am i, I was speaking <laughs> to someone <laughs> he yeah, was talking yeah. sir actually sorry yeah, yeah. please no uh, problem sir no problem so audience in the chat box la whatsapp link unna amichirukom group link adle join panikonga e certificates vand before today unga email ku vandrum quiz um e certificates kuriya இந்த ஃபீட்பேக் ஃபார்மும் உங்களுக்கு அதில் போஸ்ட் பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ ஒரு ஒன் இன்றைக்கு மட்டும் நீங்கள் பேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க ஸோ இட் வாஸ் அன் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் செஷன் சார் அதர் சார் வி ஹவ் ரியலி என்ஜாய்டு அவர் செஷன் பர்சனலி ஐ தேங்க் டு அக்செப்ட் அவர் இன்விடேஷன் டு ப்ரெசென்ட் தி ஆர்ட் ஆஃப் செல்லிங் டு அஸ் சார் அண்ட் அப்கமிங் தெர் ஆர் தெர் ஆர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் இனோவேட்டர்ஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ அவங்க வந்து இதை இன்கார்பரேட் பண்ணுவாங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் எஸ்பெஷலி தட் பர்சனல் செல்லிங் பிளான் so and also the communication uh, we thought that uh, verbal communication is of, of 100 percentage but uh, 20 percentage is, is enough and uh, yeah. facial expression uh, so much thing we have learned uh, so thanks for this wonderful session sir uh, uh, thank you Nirmal, mr sir, thank you, you actually uh, nirmal sir is there anything you, you would like to tell uh, Uh, yes sir i want to thank uh, mr adas mittal sir and also vinod sir for uh, asking me to join the session it was very uh, helpful and it was my first session in art of selling because i have never been into any other session related to marketing and this is my first session and uh, it was very wonderful thank you sir mittal sir thank you thank you thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you. okay uh, thank you once again thank you participants uh, for the, for uh, attending this session and uh, thank you resource person and thank you host of this today's program and we will see with another program uh, that will be hosted by um, uh, of course cd i i hope that uh, and the resource person will of that session will be um, startup uh, co-founder of uh, infinite engineers uh, student turned an entrepreneur aravin mr aravin uh, it will be happen in coming days and moreover uh, cd is also having some uh, important webinars we will circulate the, uh, that uh, in the our webinar groups so thanks for participating and uh, thanks uh, cd for uh, arranging this webinar a grand success uh, thank you all uh, we can end up this meeting uh, thank you sir yeah thank you everyone uh, have a good day hey sir thank you everyone thank you for participating in the webinar thank you sir thank you mr sir and thank you vinod sir i, I hope uh, if uh, anyone is having any doubt they can ask or else we can wind up the meeting இந்த ஹேண்ட் ஷேக் காட்டுங்க ஹேண்ட் ஷேக் ஓகே ஷால் வி வைண்ட் அப் நம்ம வைண்ட் அப் பண்ணிரலாம் थैंक यू நிர்மல் லீவ் பண்ணிரலாம் சார் ஐ ஹோப் குரூப் பார்ட்டிசிபன்ட்ஸ் வாட்ஸ்அப் அந்த குரூப் லிங்க் எடுத்துட்டீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஜாயின் தி வாட்ஸ்அப் குரூப் as vinod sir said the feedback form and the quiz form link ellame whatsapp group la da post pannuvom and neenga fill pandrathu base panni da you will be getting your e certificate oh, so yes, you kindly yes, join yes. the whatsapp group okay correct sir ah yes sir yes. okay, okay thank you sir okay thank you, thank you nirmal uh, thank you uh, we can end the session okay fine sir